Hi guys, hope everyone is safe and doing well. So I will be solving and explaining some of the top interview problems which are asked by companies like Amazon, Microsoft, etc. From this website bynesearch.com. It's a good website to practice from as the problems are basically from uh, from the interviews which are asked in interviews. So let's start. Today I will be solving this problem strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. It's an easy level problem. So let's read the problem statement given a list of integers nums written whether the list is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So we have to check when uh, we are given an, a list of an area of numbers and we have to check if this area is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So simple let's see the sample input 1 2 3 4 5 it's strictly increasing so we are, the output is true and in this 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 okay so it's not strictly increasing and not strictly decreasing obviously so output is false why it's not strictly increasing is <coughs> because there's a duplicate of 5 like in strictly increasing there should not be duplicates present like for example if it's if if 5 is here then in and for the next element there should be a number which should be greater than 5, not equals to and not less than. And same goes for strictly decreasing. Like we should have in, in strictly part, we have to only, we should only have the distinct numbers. Okay, so in sample input 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, so output is true. Okay, if, as it's strictly decreasing. Okay, so we will divide this problem into two parts. First, we will check if it's strictly increasing or not. If it's strictly increasing, then we will return true. And if it's not, then we will check if it's strictly decreasing. If it's strictly decreasing, then we will return true. And if it's not both, then we will eventually return false. So let's take an example to see how this problem goes. Suppose you are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So what we can do? Like, like so we write the index. So this is the index of the this array. Okay. So what we will do is we will we will check for every element. We will check for we will apply a loop and we will check for every element like it's greater than its previous element. Like for example, for the first index. We will check if this element is greater than its previous element, previous index element, like index is 1. So its previous index element, previous index is 0. So we will check that if this element is greater than its previous element. If it's greater, then uh, we will move on. Then we will move to the next index. And for that index, we will check if it's if this element is greater than its previous element. And we'll move to the end. And if in any of the in, in for any of the index if the condition violates then it's not strictly increasing then we will check for strictly increasing strictly decreasing and if if for any of the index if the condition doesn't break or violate if the condition doesn't get violated then we will get to know that this array is strictly increasing because because for every for every index it's it's greater than its previous like suppose we have 3 4 8 9 11 if this number is greater than this and this number is greater than this and this number is greater than this and this number is greater than this then we can see that we get the array of a strictly increasing but if we have like this 3 5 4 8 9 so 5 is greater than 3 but 4 is not greater than 5 so the condition get condition got violated and this array is not strictly increasing so so the problem is simple just we have to apply a loop and to ch and check for every element if it's greater than its previous and for strictly decreasing the approach is same just we have to reverse the condition so let's code the solution out first of all we will store the size of the Array, <coughs> it's given the form of vector. So to check for strictly increasing, to check if it's strictly increasing, 
will apply loop for int is equal from we will apply from the index one because for index zero there is no previous element so we will apply from index one if nums of i is greater than nums of i minus one like i is the current element and i minus one is the previous element so we will see we will uh, we will just continue the loop else we will uh, else we will break the loop okay but how can we get to know at the end that it's strictly increasing or not so what we going to do is we will take a flag and store it to true and after we after the condition got violated we will store flag goes to false and then we will break and if at the end after the loop is over we will check if flag if flag equals to true then we will return true and if it's not then this array is not strictly because the condition got violated and we will get the flag we, we got flag equals to false and for strictly decreasing we have to just copy paste this part this part we have to copy paste this because there is a difference in only a sign. Check if it's strictly decreasing. So what you are going to do? We will just reverse this sign. Like we are, we are going, we are checking if the number is greater than its previous and strictly decreasing. We will check if it if the number is less than its previous. So and we will do the same flag equals to false and break and if we get if we got flag equals to true like if the condition got if the condition never violated so we will return true else else if a code reaches here and the con <coughs> if a code reaches here then we know that it's not strictly increasing and not strictly decreasing so we will return false and we will reinitialize this flag here to true okay so let's run and we got accepted so let's submit okay so we got the success so that's all for today i see you in the next problem in the next video